reappraisal of AIDS is the oxidation induced by the risk factors the primary cause. Eleni Papadopoulos Eliopoulos, Royal Perth Hospital, Medical Physics Department, Perth, Western Australia. Abstract, the emergence of AIDS as a recognizable disease, its epidemiology, the clinical and laboratory data and the way in which they have been interpreted to deduce the currently acceptable hypothesis of its etiology and mechanism of transmission are critically examined. There is no compelling reason for preferring the viral hypothesis of AIDS to one based on the activity of oxidizing agents. In fact, the latter is to be preferred since unlike the viral hypothesis it leads to possible methods of prevention and treatment using currently available therapeutic substances. Introduction Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome AIDS was first recognized in 1981 and by late 1985 more than 14,000 people had been diagnosed with the disease in the United States alone. The patients belong almost exclusively to a number of high-risk groups. Homosexual or bisexual males constitute the largest group, followed by intravenous drug abusers, patients and hemophiliacs. The main clinical signs of the disease are lymphadenopathy, opportunistic infections and malignancies, especially lymphomas and Kaposi's sarcoma, Kansas. The patients also have a pronounced depression of cellular immunity. There is an absolute lymphopenia in reversal of the usual ratio of phenotypic T helper, OKT4+, plus, to T suppressor, OKT8+, plus, cells whereby the latter come to dominate among circulating lymphocytes. The circulating lymphocytes have decreased capacity to form rosettes with red blood cells comma respond poorly to mitogenic stimulation, have decreased natural killer cell activity and other functional abnormalities. To account for the immunological abnormalities, especially the decrease in T4 cells believed to be unique to this disease, Francoise Barsenuasi, Jean-Claude Sherman and Luc Montagne at the Pasteur Institute in Paris, and a group led by Robert Gallo at the National Cancer Institute in America proposed that AIDS may be caused by infection of the T4 cells with a virus from the family of human T-cell leukemia, lymphotropic, retroviruses, HTLV. These include two major subgroups of human retroviruses called human T-cell leukemia lymphoma retroviruses HTLVI and HTLV2. The supposed AIDS virus is called LAV, lymphadenopathy associated virus by the Pasteur group of HTLV-3, human T-cell leukemia, lymphotropic, virus type 3, by the Americans. Because the viral envelope, which is required for infectivity, is very fragile and tends to come off when the virus buds from the infected T-cells, a direct infected T4 cell to non-infected T4 cell contact is assumed to be required for the spread of the retrovirus. L, the main immunological reason for postulating that a retrovirus of the HTLV family may be the etiological agent of AIDS was the finding that these viruses are immunosuppressive and mitogenically stimulated cell cultures see below the epidemiology of AIDS was also interpreted as supporting the viral hypothesis there is abundant evidence that immunological changes in the AIDS patients and the development of Kansas and opportunistic infections are related to the number of homosexual partners and frequent receptive anal intercourse according to the American group this finding suggests that HTLV-3 is sexually transmitted and that the rectal mucosa may be unusually vulnerable to passage of this lymphocytotoxic agent. The Caribbean area, especially Haiti and Africa, have been suggested as possible sources of the AIDS virus. The main reason for this suggestion is the supposed high incidence of sero-reactive for HTLV in Africa and AIDS in Haitians emigrating to the United States. There are a number of findings which suggest causes other than HTLV3 slash lab. I, in diseases which are known to have causes other than HTLV infections, the immunological abnormalities are similar to those seen in AIDS. These include Evans, Gardner's, and Bessett syndromes, macroglobulinemia, tuberculosis, malaria, diabetes, aplastic anemia, and thalassemia.
immunological abnormalities including inversion of the T4 slash T8 ratio can be induced by other viral and non-viral agents such as Epstein-Barr virus, chemotherapeutic agents, prednisone and adrenaline. I areas with high seropositivity for HTLV infection appear to be free of AIDS. About 25% of the population in southern Japan appears to have antibodies against the virus compared to about 5% in Haiti and 1% in the United States. Yet so far only 14 AIDS cases have been reported from Japan. E.E. The epidemiological finding that AIDS development in homosexual men is directly related to the number of homosexual partners and frequency of receptive anal intercourse can be equally well or even better accounted for. If sperm is considered an etiological factor, if the high incidence of immunological and clinical abnormalities found in the AIDS risk groups is also found in at least two other groups, aged individuals and patients treated with immunosuppressive agents for organ transplantation, the possibility arises that the immunosuppressive agents used in organ transplantation, some parameters associated with aging, and the risk factors in AIDS share a common property by which they induce similar effects. Evidence will be presented that all the above agents are oxidizing agents and by their oxidative nature induce malignancies, immunosuppression and increased susceptibility to infection. An AIDS viral infection including HTLV3 slash lab, if it exists, is the result of the disease and not its etiology, although once present can further aggravate the disease. AIDS-like symptoms in other subjects. The aged individual, like the homosexual male, has a significantly higher probability than a young heterosexual of developing opportunistic infection. Even the seropositivity for HTLV3 slash lab in apparently healthy individuals increase with age. It is widely known that with age there is a marked decline in immune function and a marked increase in all cancers including Kansas. The increase in oxidative stress with age and its relationship to cancer development is also well known. Less well known is the evidence that the decline in cellular immunity is mainly due to lymphopenia and the alteration in cell function as a result of oxidative stress. In viable animals, age-associated cancers, decline in immune function, and even death can be postponed by treating the animals with antioxidants. Similarly in vitro, antioxidants enhance the immune response of both young and old cells, the effect being ten times greater in old cells. A striking resemblance seems to exist between organ transplant patients who are treated with radiation, chemotherapy or a combination of the two, and the AIDS patients in terms of their increased susceptibility to opportunistic infection and the development of Kansas and immunosuppression. The in vivo and in vitro effects on the immune system of these agents is similar to that seen in AIDS. In the organ transplant patient there is a lack of helper cells and an inverted T4 slash T8 ratio which persists beyond one year post transplantation independently of graft versus host disease status. The lymphocyte is also abnormal for more than one year after transplantation. All the agents with which organ transplant patients are treated are either alkylating or oxidizing agents. Their effects can be prevented by the use of reducing agents. Even Kansas has been observed to regress when immunosuppression therapy is reduced or stopped. AIDS in homosexuals. The diseases fitting the AIDS definition appeared in homosexuals before 1981, when their symptoms started to be reported in the medical literature under the inclusive term of AIDS. The dramatic increase of their incidence after 1981